Hey guys, it's your girl Laura. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be back with another plan with me this month. I know there was one last month. If you are following me on my main YouTube channel, which is more beauty based and things of that sort of thing, you know what's going on and you're basically caught up to speed. But if not, then long story short, I had to take some time off for my mental health. You know, it all became a little bit too much and I had to take some time off and take care of me and take care of my family and kind of get back to basics, if you will. So I did kind of let this channel kind of fall off the wayside there because um, handling more than one channel at the time was just too much for me. So, but I'm excited to be back now and I'm excited to be doing another plan with me. I actually find uh, my art videos to be like so therapeutic. I love to sit down and do them. Um, so I'm excited to continue with this series. A little bit of an update as far as my channel trailer. I'm actually no longer working a full-time job, um, again, for my mental health. And because it was what was needed um, for my family, it was what was best for us, for my husband and my kids, I did decide to leave my full-time um, job. So basically I'm doing this now, I'm being a full-time mom. And it's been a new but very interesting and very fun adventure. Um, so I'm hoping to be able to bring you guys a lot more content and things of that sort now that I do have more time on my hands. So anyway, I feel like that's enough blabber for now. So let's just get right into the video. Alright guys, so as I'm sure you could tell from our cover page, my theme for this month is roses. I've just been, feel like I've been focusing a lot on the phrase, you know, stop and smell the roses or every rose has its thorns, which I know is kind of <laughs> cheesy, but I just think that there's a lot of beauty and also kind of like a lot of roughness in roses if that makes sense and I feel like it was a good metaphor for where I am in life right now and I just need to remember that you know even though life has its thorns it's still as beautiful as a rose and I just thought it was a nice little reminder for the month but anyway as you guys can see I'm completing my monthly overview page um, I like to have it all nicely laid out. Um, good thing that I did it in pencil first because I didn't realize I had made too many boxes. But I got that all nicely fixed and I'm just continuing to draw a nice big kind of a wilting rose on this side. I wanted to make sure that I drew di different kinds of roses. That way I didn't get bored of drawing them. But I think in the end it came out really, really nice. And I just felt like I had so much space in the bottom right hand corner there that I thought I'd fill it up with a quote. And I ran across this one on Pinterest. It didn't say who it was by, so I don't actually know who to credit. But it was the beauty of the rose is not dwindled by its thorns, which again I thought tied really well into the reason why I wanted to use roses for my theme this month. But anyway, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I do come back later and add in the days of the week. As I was reviewing it, I realized that I completely forgot to add that. I think because I've been out of the game for a whole month, it just makes it a little bit hard to get back into it. But anyway, moving on, now I'm going to be doing my mood tracker for the month because I am someone that is dealing with mental health issues. Um, I'm actually dealing with postpartum depression and... Um, I have an eating disorder as well. I thought it would be very important that I do a spread like this and that I really make it a point to keep up with it um, just because it, it's, you know, I'm not with my doctor every day. It's good to have a lot of self-analyzation and just to realize, you know, how different things in the day are affecting me and how I'm dealing with them. So anyway, I decided to draw another rose, again, looking a little bit different than the roses that I've already drawn. And I thought it had like a cool kind of geometric vibe to it, just the style of this one. So I drew these two circles and all the little brackets will add up to 30 days. And then I put a little key at the bottom to kind of let me know what the colors mean. And hopefully I'll have it all filled out and hopefully we'll have no black days, but that's not very realistic. So Hopefully there's just a lot more rosy pink days than black days. <laughs> but anyway, on the right hand sheet, I'm going to go ahead and do my habit tracker. I thought it was a good idea to put these kind of on the same page, just because I feel like the two go hand in hand. When I feel like I've accomplished things in the day, I feel like it does elevate my mood. It makes me feel accomplished and it makes me feel happy. It really does. Um, so I just thought it would be good to have these two hand in hand. And so as you can tell, I've got 10 habits that I really want to track this month. And they range from like small things like, you know, 
brushing my teeth and cleaning my retainer in the morning and brushing my teeth and putting in my retainer at night and basically everything in the middle. So working out, filling in my bullet journal, catching up on my emails, um, posting on Instagram, take my vitamins, you know, do my daily house chores, um, keep up with Alicia and her schoolwork and do my nighttime skin routine. I'm just trying to get back into taking better care of myself. And again, I feel like that goes hand in hand with my mood. Um, so I don't know, I thought it would be good to have these two together. So I'm sure you guys can tell what I'm doing right now is creating these little columns. So there's three columns for each habit and there's 10 box or 10 rows, I suppose. And so as each day goes on, since there's 30 even days, I'll just go ahead and check them off as I do them. So I think that looks really nice. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next page. In the next page, I wanted to also, because I wanted to focus a little bit more heavily on my Instagram since I'm running two, um, on my main one, I do actually have a little bit of a theme going on. So for me, I really need to plan out what I'm going to post days before, because if I don't have something ready that goes with my theme, then I'm stuck not posting until I do have something ready. So I thought that this would be a little bit more helpful, keep me on track with things. And that way, like the day doesn't get ahead of me, if that makes sense. So I've got one for my main channel and another one for my bullet, or I'm sorry, main Instagram and another one for my bullet journal Instagram. And then on my right hand side, I thought it would go again, hand in hand to have my social media tracker on this side, since on the other side, I've got all my Instagram post ideas. Um, so for my main channel I've got of course my YouTube channel and then of course I've got an Instagram and I've got a Twitter as well whereas on my bullet journal side of things I only have the YouTube channel and the Instagram but anyway so I just kind of put like where I'm at right now and then I kind of put different little I guess milestones if you will and I'll just fill it in as time goes on and as I hit each milestone I couldn't make it one graph because the numbers are so different that it just kind of wouldn't have made sense but anyway I'm hoping that it'll turn out well it's not my favorite tracker that I've created so we'll see how I like it how it turns out and then I'll decide if I change it or not for next month now I'm going to create these nice thick block rows that will signify each day of the week. Um, I just wanted to do something that was a little bit more minimalistic just because I'm going through a huge life change right now and I don't actually know what's going to work. I can't just do, you know, spreads that have worked for me in the past because I'm in a very different place in my life now that I'm not working full time and I signed up to be a room mother in Alicia's class and you know I've got my baby full time now and so it's just very very different so I can't just rely on spreads that have or have not worked in the past I'm kind of starting from ground zero so I was gonna put like you know tasks on one side and then events on the other and just kind of name them down but as I was going down the numbers I realized wait I like to go from Sunday to Saturday so then I ended up having to fix that and put in an extra day so that my next week could start on a Sunday. But anyway, going from the very beginning, this is what our cover sheet looks like. I think it's very nice and chic. And then here's our monthly overview. Like I stated earlier, I did go back and fill in the days of the week and I think it looks very nice now. And then of course I've got my mood tracker on one side and my habit tracker on the other, which hopefully will look very, very filled in by the end of the month. And then I've got my Instagram post ideas and my social media trackers, which again, hopefully this will be very, very filled up by the end of the month. And then of course, I've got my first spread of the week and I included a little note section so that I could see what works and what doesn't work for the upcoming weeks. Okay guys, if you made it to the end, then thank you so, so much. It means so much to me. I know that I'm still definitely a beginner artist, but I really love doing it. I feel like I've seen a lot of improvement. I've been bullet journaling for a little bit over a year now, and I'm going to have to redo how I usually set it up just because I'm in a different place in my life right now. But that's what's so special about bullet journaling is that you can change it up and customize it based on what's going on in your life. So I'm excited to try out new things and just to bring a lot more content for you guys. Uh, I do apologize again that there was no video last month, but I figured I would make it up to you guys with a little giveaway. So I have loved bullet journaling so much, and as I said in the beginning of the video, I actually find it very therapeutic. I find it 
it just it soothes my soul if you will <laughs> so if i can spread a little bit of that joy and positivity around then i feel like my, i've done a good job so i'm going to be giving away a bullet journal of your very own um you can choose whatever color you want i will go ahead and link down to the amazon site that i buy it from there will be one winner so in order to enter all the rules are that you must be subscribed to this channel and you got to leave me a comment below with what theme you think I should do next month. If your theme is chosen, then you win. If there is a multiple people suggesting the same theme, then whoever commented it first wins by default. Um, and yeah, so I will be announcing the winner in the next Plan With Me video when it is released, or I guess displayed, <laughs> what theme it is that I've chosen. So definitely leave me some ideas below. October's coming up. I'm into the spookiness, so definitely leave me something interesting, and you can win a bullet journal of your very own. Um, I will leave more details as far as giveaway in the description box below, and thank you guys again just so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!